G'day guys, you remember the uh, thousand watt eBay $35 inverter? Link in the video description to buy one of these beasts. We're putting it on uh, off grid duties for the next little while. We've got the kilowatt meter plugged in the front of it, which I just reset. It's the 4th of March uh, 2019. That is my Milwaukee 6 bay, so it's triple rapid charger. This is what it's going to do for its uh, extreme testing. We're just going to keep punching flat Milwaukee batteries through this. I've flattened a lot of them. Uh, I've been doing a bit of plumbing and a bit of um, night work as well. So I've had all the big torches and things like that running. So we've flattened a lot of batteries. I've used this for a lot of things. I ran my laptop on it the other day and it went really well. Uh, I've got a whippersnip in the backyard today. Things like that. So we're going to have a lot of flat Milwaukee batteries to uh, run through this beast. Let's have a look and see what the kilowatt says, 247 volts. Oh, wrong one, that one. So that's the... Kilowatt hours is that one there. So we're on zero. I'll give you an update in a few weeks, depending on how many kilowatt hours we get through it, slash if it catches fire or something. Um, been really solid so far. Ran my big laptop off it the other day. Uh, been doing some testing on batteries, just discharging big lead acids. But uh, we've been having a fair bit of sun lately. I need to charge all these Milwaukee batteries. I want to do it for free. So uh, let's do that. One point four watts. Let's load her up. With some batteries. Watch the wattage climb, 140, 50, 60. So this is just a cheap 35 Australian dollar thousand watt inverter off eBay. Like I said, there will be a video link, no, link in the video description. I'll also link to the other video I did of it testing power tools. It will run a jigsaw. Uh, what else? I run around a jigsaw. Uh, 400 watt die grinder, like collet grinder, things like that. So it has no real issues with that. Now we're into the 358 watts. Going into that charger right now. As the 9 amp battery on there comes up in voltage, the wattage will normally spike a bit. I've seen this charger get over 400. Um, so, yeah, this is where it's going to live its days for a while. Um, chewing up that off grid power and turning it into uh, AC for me. Um, yeah, full disclosure, bought it with my own money, 35 bucks. Thought we'd test the life out of it. I'm going to keep buying inverters and testing them. Um, so we can kind of find the best of a bad bunch because uh, there's really not a great deal of good information out there anymore there was a guy in the states problem was all these inverters with 110 volts I don't know if you remember him, his name was Nurla and uh, he did heaps of testing on heaps of different inverters and things but his channel hasn't done anything for a couple of years now and no good for us in Australia because they're all 110 volt inverters so hopefully I can buy and test a bunch of these um, if you buy one of these I get a small kickback a very small kickback because they're not worth anything off uh, the link on uh, on eBay but um, at the same time if you just want to power a battery charger in your work rig shack just a little on site power thing that you want to just run about a, run a drill or a grinder that's the other thing I want to try is the angle grinder next but, uh, we'll run all kinds of things off this we've got the kilowatt in the front Hopefully it's not like some of my other ones which have actually melted the kilowatt hour meters. This kilowatt hour meter that was in the front of one of my thousand watt inverters, that was that hot I could hardly touch it anymore. So, we'll keep charging Milwaukee batteries. We'll see how much power we can pull out of this off-grid system. 365 at the moment. And uh, go for gold. Remember, the ratings aren't always what they seem to be. So, uh, don't get hung up on what you see. Get hung up on what you see tested, so 
if you think of something you want to see ran off this little inverter sing out uh, I have run that air compressor that little pancake one which is a direct drive four or five hundred watt motor runs beautiful but uh, the Milwaukee charge is what I predominantly run off it but anytime I'm doing something out here in the shed I'll try and run it off the uh, off-grid system and through this just so we can get some real kilowatt hours on this beast so uh, it's the 4th of March we'll give it a hiding and uh, see what happens in the future see how many kilowatts we can draw out of the bad boy thanks heaps for watching catch you on the next video